What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today I've had a lot of people ask me questions on unloading and loading with these uh, Checkmate Stripe kits from Big League Lawns. So today we're going to show you loading, unloading, tell you a little bit more about this product, what I actually think of it after using it for a while on my equipment and uh, show you some cons to this thing which is very, very few in between. With, um, with what was going on and uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you gotta be happy. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. But uh, let's get started on this thing. Alright guys, so a lot of people ask, how's this work with loading and unloading? Well, of course, if you've got a platform that sits up, then it's just going to sit up against your wheels, and then when you go to back off, which we'll show you, your wheels will roll with the wheels. Then if you have a uh, standard, a right stander or something with the platform on it, then this is going to stick out just like it does on the back of the Toro uh, Z-Master up there, so then you'll get that same effect as well. Or same thing, once you put it down, then we'll show you unloading with it down. But you have two different options there. So if you have a platform, it's gonna be uh, great that you can set that up. If not, then once you get down to the ground, the bottom of this, depending on your weight, may touch the bottom of your platform, which in return is gonna give you this every now and then. So certain heels and things like that, this will rub up against the paint on the bottom of your platform, depending on which mower you're running at the time. Or, uh, you know, of course, if you got the grandstand, this is what's gonna happen. If you've got a right stander, uh, Ferris, anything like that, then you, you have no worries because it's gonna stick out behind it. Same thing with your, your Z Masters, your, your actual zero turns and things like that. You won't have to worry about it at all as well. So let's unload this thing and show you how this works. Right, guys so we're going to show you the toro grandstand in action with some striping going on and then i'm going to show you some things i do not like about this before we go into the z master uh video of showing you how it mows and uh stripes so guys now we're going to show you some real-time mowing with both the z master and the grandstand as you can tell we uh did this just to see which way the stripes would look best with the, the time of day it is and of course it's going to be this way so we didn't do anything but run this over we didn't cut anything literally this is just running it over one pass and uh so we're fixing to start mowing 
and see what happens. So, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll start here and go this way, and you start here and go that way. Okay. Um, and if you want to, start up there and come down. That way your dark is with my light and get y'all some mowing going. people want to know when buying one of these products is is it going to jump the curb how's that work uh, loading and unloading the trailer how well does it stripe is there a benefit are you going to get a, a return for your investment in the long run so let's show you this And a heart attack. So cutting clean is the name, and you know that now there ain't a thing you can say that can hold me down. And like when talking about stuff like this, guys, and my personal opinion, and just take it for what it's worth, it's just my opinion. The machines you're using, some clients don't care, some clients do care, and that'll go into the striping on their properties. Some clients do appreciate having that better quality on their lawn. So the return on investment on things like this and some of the other products we use in the industry, I, I do feel there is a definite return of investment, whether it's your purchase price, being able to get new clients from them seeing maybe you on Instagram and seeing your stripes or looking at their neighbor's yard and seeing how good it looks. So the better of a quality you can put out in the product that you're doing, I feel it's a no brainer for a company to want to do that. All right guys, so we went over a lot of the things that a lot of people want to know about this thing, you've seen it stripe, you've seen it jump curbs, come back down off of curbs, unload and load off the trailer. So the let's get into some of the things I do not like about it. Now one of the things that I don't like, but there's nothing you can do about it, is when you start going in ditches and things of that nature, these wheels touch the bottom of the your platform here and rub the paint off. Now, it's not going into anything. These are hard rubber wheels. Uh, well, they're molded rubber wheels. So the, it's not going into anything other than it's just rubbing the paint off. So as of right now, it's really not a huge con to me, but you know, if, is over time, is this going to start rubbing into that metal? Which I doubt, but just one of the things that I noticed that was happening. Another thing that we're going to show you is whenever I'm mowing close to a curb or a sidewalk, and the sidewalk sticks up tremendously uh, a little bit amount difference than the yard, then when I go to turn, then what's going to happen is this is going to catch against that curb so you literally have to back up from wherever you're trying to turn in that position and slowly do a turn instead of trying to turn sharp so that's the literally the only two things that i have against this and it really ain't against anything because i've learned to literally go back slowly or go back and then turn slower and make not as sharp of a turn as i normally would without this on there and 
you know as you can tell the wheels have been holding up real nice i've had this since uh, about mid-march i would say so we've been using it for a, a pretty good while and i liked it so much that when i got the z master i ended up getting one for it now the z master the only problem i see with that is literally the same thing if you're close to a, a curb that's higher or sidewalk driveway or something that's higher up then you're going to have to back up and make a slow turn compared to you know just being on a regular mower you'd be able to make that turn because you have nothing behind you so that's my thoughts and opinions on this stripe kit guys thanks for watching and uh you know one of the big things about this is there is a uh, code down below in the description that code randomly changes from month to month so if you're interested in buying one of these that code will save you 10 percent and of course uh you know they're great i absolutely love it that's my thoughts and opinions on it. If you have any questions you'd like to ask, comment down below. These weigh around 50 pounds um, a piece, the one on the Z Master and this one. And so you've got 50 pounds of roller that is just laying the grass over real nice. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.